or on YouTube. Another exciting day for me. I'm off to K Tech Racing to get some work done on my uh, clear. I tell you what, the car park's not as exciting as the open day. Well, a few of you wondering, might be wondering why I went all the way to K Tech when I could have just gone to my local garage. Well, hopefully, this video will be an explanation of that. But what can you expect when you arrive at K Tech? Well, the uh, loan car, I'll put a picture of it up here. Everyone's kind of busy getting along about their day. Um, Nick was the chap on the main gate, on the main uh, desk looking after me. Uh, he was the guy who phoned me with all the bad news about the car. I'll put a few pictures up now of uh, the bad news that he sent me. As you can see from the pictures, the flexes have started to deteriorate. So the work that uh, I had done was a lot different to the work that I went in for. Um, I asked for a gearbox refurbishment. We all know my fourth gear synchro had gone. In that, I got a genuine clutch and slave fitting. I also went for the upgraded synchros and I went for the clutch damper delete. Uh, at the same time, it seemed rude not to, and you'll think I'm a massive loser if I didn't do it. I have to agree with that. I got a limited slip differential fitted. While she was in there, went for a cam belt service. And as you're getting all that work done, uh, the alignment that happened while it was there. And uh, investigate asked them to investigate. There's a little click in the steering column, and asked Nick whether the uh, technicians would have a look at that for me. I said, uh, Nick, if there's any preventive maintenance while it's there, can you um, get the technicians to uh, give me a bell, and we'll see if I can afford it. So I got the call from Nick, and the extra work that I needed doing was a lower steering swivel and a steering arm. All right, guys, girls. Let's talk about the work. About five or six pages of work here. Anyway, uh, let's start with uh, carry out the cam belt service. That included a water pump. And while they were doing that, the uh, front pulley, they found that was loose. It's just rubber. Obviously that degraded, 100,000 miles, bound to happen. That was a genuine Renault item. I don't think that's about under pound, including VAT. Um, Next page, let's have a quick look, a quick summary of the work. Yeah, I got that differential fitted. It was a black line ATB differential. I'll do a review video on that. Um, that came with a diff bearing seal kit while you're in there. Um, they're putting 7590 oil in, Miller's. A um, bit of uh, brake fluid because I had the cl new uh, clutch, um, genuine clutch and sleigh cylinder put in. I did the um, KTR clutch damper delete. I'll do a review on that, but nothing to report so far. Uh, obviously, while the sub when the subframe came out for the gearbox, got the tracking done, labor. Um, there's a little bit of clicking, a little bit of play. It's like click, 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 click. And I was like, no, no idea what that was. Hoping it wasn't something too sinister. But they changed the lower hub pivot, the inner steering arm, and the um, torque link bush. The technicians didn't appreciate my sticker flex. So I've got a few advisories here. They reckon the sump gasket has got a slight leak and the near side front shock is missing. I'm pretty sure I've changed that shock. It wasn't that when I got changed, but we'll see. Uh, the exhaust manifold, they show me pictures of that. And I said, yeah, do that work uh, while you're at it, please. It just made sense while it was out. And they put a note on the bottom here, gearbox has been out before, yeah, it has, 20,000 miles ago. And it was out not long before that for the clutch when the slave cylinder burst everywhere. So yeah, this gearbox has been in, out, in, out, shaking all about. So yeah, five pages of work and the alignment. It wouldn't be a fun video without any costs, would it? There we go. Costs, 3,000. £254.67 for all that work. So why did I go to KTEC? I went to KTEC because kind of like I'm sick to death of people like doing half assed jobs on the car. And I'm really glad I did. It really paid off this time. The front end feels really, really tied down after all that work. I'm not sure whether if you just take it to your local garage, which is really good, they don't have the parts on the shelves, do they? So when they see work, they think, oh, that'll Pass an MOT, happy with that. They don't think I've got the part on the shelf. That car would be really good. Well, that part's off to put that part on if the guy wants the work done. And uh, yeah, 
definitely has paid dividends because I've had that click for a good couple of years now in the steering column. So yeah, really recommend K-Tech and the work. The technicians did a great job, really great job. Looking forward to the open day. Back by popular demand, the outro. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe, comment, troll, it's all good. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video when I do the LSD review.